chama cha upinzani azimio la umoja One Kenya Alliance kinasema kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza imeenda sege mnege na kuwatumbuiza wa Kenya katika maisha magumu zaidi katika kipindi cha mwaka mmoja madarakani. Na kwa upande mwingine shirikisho la waajiri la Kenya FKE limalalamikia hatua ya serikali kuongeza ushuru wa viwango mbalimbali mbali, na kutonesha kidonda zaidi bei ya mafuta ya petroli imepanda kwa viwango vya kutisha. Mwanahabari wetu Ibrahim Karanja analikunjua jamvi letu la NTV weekend jioni ya leo. Mm -hmm. Ni siku mbili tu tangu serikali ya Kenya kwanza itimize mwaka mmoja ofisini. Na baada ya kauli za wadau mbalimbali ilikuwa zamu ya upinzani kutoa tathmini ya utendakazi wa utawala huu kwa mwaka mmoja. Katika taarifa iliyosomwa na kinara wa upinzani Raila Odinga, serikali ya Rais Ruto imepeleka nchi kombo kombo. Wanasema gharama imezidi kupanda kiasi cha kudhuru hata sekta ya elimu, machoni, pa maskini. The lesson from history is that you cannot manage the economy with propaganda. In fact, you can engage in all the propaganda you want, but if the macroeconomic fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. <laughs> Kadhalika azimio wanadai udhaifu kwa serikali unaotokana na uongozi hafifu miongoni mwa mawaziri na maafisa wengine wasiozingatia uadilifu na utaalamu kazini. Kwa mujibu wa azimio serikali ya Kenya kwanza ina sababu ya kutahadhari kabla ya hatari. The ball is squarely in the court of the regime. They either act or await the fate that has fallen other insensitive and incompetent regimes across the continent. Kwingineko shirika la waajiri la Kenya FKE pia wamejitokeza kulalamika. Kwa mujibu wa FKE waajiri wanazidi kusukumwa kwa ukuta na huenda wakalazimika kuchukua hatua za kupunguza wafanyikazi au kufunga biashara zao. Kuongezwa kwa makato ya NHIF, NSSF, kodi ya nyumba na zinginezo kumesa kama waajiri na waajiriwa. Kenya lost over 345 million dollars worth of foreign direct investment and other investment inflows in just three months as economic growth lamented over unfriendly policies. FKE holds the view that this model will face challenges given that the formal wage employment is only 15% of the total wage employment. The envisioned contribution by every Kenyan also poses major challenges. Kwa sasa haijakuwa bayana namna mvutano huu wa upinzani wa ajiri na serikali utaadhiri mazungumzo yanayoendelea kuhusu gharama ya maisha na masuala mengine. Vera Mora NTV Nairobi.